Okay, I gotta go. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Okay. I gotta have a meeting with Deacon Michael. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Oh, wow, Papa. I'll get us some coffee. Sounds good. Let me get the door for you. Hi. Hey. Thanks again for holding the door open for me earlier. You're welcome. If it's okay, I'd like to share this with you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Bye. Armando, I got our coffee. Well, good, thank you. Yeah. Who was that lady? Oh, she um, she brought this pamphlet here on John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's the classic opener, isn't it? That is. You know, I've always wondered, how did Jesus approach people? That's a great question, Armando. And usually, it, they were strangers. Yeah, and there's something about him that just drew people to him. No, was it his teaching, his voice, his mm -hmm. eyes? I mean, they obviously saw something very special in him that attracted them. That's amazing. You know, I wonder what people do, how people do it now. Well, it's kind of like that courageous lady. I mean, she didn't know you and she just came up and talked to you. I have an idea. Wait for it. Okay, what's your idea? Why don't we go find out? How people evangelize. Strangers? Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You up for it? I'm up for an adventure. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go. So this is pretty exciting. It's our first stop. I know. I think it's great that we stopped at a school first. Yeah. I'm sure I'll love to hear what students have to think about. Yeah, you know, me too. Jesus. You know, I think maybe I recognize that kid. Oh. Good morning. Yeah, excuse us. Oh, hey. How are you? Good, how are you? This is a pretty nice school. Yeah, it is pretty nice. I like it. Have you been going here a while? Um, Actually, we just moved here recently. I've been here for about a month and a half, maybe. Great. How are you liking it so far? Oh, I like it. It's really fun. Yeah? Where were you headed when we uh, met you here in the lobby? Um, I was headed to a band. Great. Well, I hope we're not going to make you late. What's oh, your name? My name's Joey. Joey, okay. Nice to meet you, Joey. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, Joey, we're in a Catholic school, and I'm sure you're learning about your faith. What, mm -hmm. what do you think faith, I mean, how is faith important to you? Um, well, I'm not really sure, actually. Okay. That's, that's a tough that's, question. That is kind of a tough Especially question. Especially early in the morning, right? Yeah. Well, do you ever talk about Jesus here? Yeah, we do a lot. Yeah. All the time, or just in religion class? Um, we talk about it pretty frequently. Okay. So what do you think? So when someone talks to you about Jesus, like, how, how do you think that happens? How do the people approach you about that? Um, I think that God comes through us to try to make us meet new people, and he helps us meet new friends and talk to the community and stuff like that. That's great. That's a good response. That right? is excellent. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm here to talk about faith. You know, sometimes it's a little challenging kind of going up to people you never met before, right? Yes. So that, that term of approaching people, it's normally evangelization. So what do you think evangelization is? It's meeting people where they're at and telling them about Jesus Christ and what he's done for us. Yeah. So what do you mean by telling people, uh, meeting people where they're at? 
Well, some people have had a religious background and some have not had any, and some have had a background that's skewed by today's world, what, what being a Catholic might mean or what being a Christian might mean. Um, and those views can be very different yeah. from what reality is. That's a great, that's a great answer. I really like that. Thank you. God bless. Michael, how are you? Just great. How are you doing? I'm doing great too. What are you up to? Well, have you heard that Armando and I are going around and asking people the big question? Really? What's the big question? Well, how they would describe evangelization. Oh, that would be a great question to ask. Well, that's why I'm here today. I wanted to get your take on it, Bishop. How do you see this mm. uh, encounter, if you will? I think evangelization is basically going out with my faith and sharing it with others. And not in a preachy kind of way, but in a sense when I run into somebody at the grocery store pumping gas next to, to my car, it's an opportunity to maybe just simply ask, how can I pray for you? And from there, the Lord will do the rest. It's a great opportunity to just encounter somebody what's, with what's going on in their life that day and see what the Lord wants to offer them through that exchange, through that encounter. Thank you, Bishop. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, hello. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you? Welcome. Hi. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Hi. What can I do for you guys? Well, I see you like growing things. Look oh. at these beautiful plants. Aren't they beautiful greenery. Oh, flowers. It's amazing. Yeah. So, you know, this reminds me about faith. Uh, do you like to grow in your faith? Yes, I do. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, I can't imagine not having my faith. For what the year I've been in, my faith is what makes me get up every day. It gives me the, the love to go on and, and to live. Oh, that's amazing. That's kind of like those encounters we've been talking about, yeah. right? So um, have you, you know, we, t we talked about encounter for us throughout the day, and we wanted to ask you, what's, what's your experience with encounter like with, you heard of this term evangelization. Yes, I have. Yeah, so what's your experience with that? You know, it's kind of hard to say and put it in words. To me, it's a feeling and when you act like Jesus, then it shows, and you really don't have to say the words sometimes, it's yeah. just your actions. I can tell you're on fire. That's you like right. growing things. Yes, yeah. I do. The Holy and Spirit moved me. <laughs> That's right. Well, thanks for sharing that with you're us. You're welcome. You guys yeah. have a great day. Thank you. You too. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And just think, that all started over a cup of coffee. Wasn't that a lot of fun? We got to meet a lot of people, yes, and that was did. great. I enjoyed it a lot. That was great. How do we communicate and share this story with more people, do you think? Well, I think that's a great question. You know, and I think we might be tempted to think that the world is bad and there's a lot of evil in the world. And perhaps there is, but at the beginning, God didn't create the world that way. Oh, that's right. He created the world good. Beautiful and good. But we didn't trust God. We turned away from what He knew was best for us. And that's when we got into trouble. That's a good point. You know, we started to not be happy with what God had to offer. You know, but God didn't want it for it to be that way and he didn't want it for it to stay that way so he would he promised them that he was going to restore everything that he had created and who did he send he sent his son well before him the oh, prophets well that's right he did send the prophets yes. but it was a message about his son that he was going to slowly reveal to everyone you know and i think that the prophets had kind of proclaimed that jesus would come and then the point came where jesus came Jesus came and he revealed that message to everyone. Yes. Isn't that great? It's beautiful. Came in our own humanity to save us. And then he taught the apostles and got them ready to take the story on after he was crucified and rose from the dead. That's right. He told them that he was gonna he was gonna die for us. He was gonna die for us and he was gonna rise to new life to bring us new life. And the apostles were, were then sent, Jesus sent them out to the world to proclaim and continue that beautiful message 
But you know, it wasn't always easy. No, the power of the Holy Spirit sent them forth, and then you have Paul who was persecuting them at first. You know, and Paul was an, originally a Jew. Yeah, he was a he Pharisee, knew. he was a Pharisee. And that's the problem that he, that the early church had in the beginning where how are the new Christians now gonna proclaim this message to the Jews? And that was kind of tough. But then on top of that, they said, how are we gonna proclaim this to the rest of the world? You know, and that was very difficult, I think. Yes. but. Paul, once he had that great conversion, he would send those beautiful love letters to those communities, much as we communicate today. That's right, and that was that was a, a great start for the church, and the church yes. kind of kicked off. But then something started to happen. It started to kind of become very political, and then there yeah, was Yeah, it was persecuted, but then when the Emperor Constantine converted, then it became the right thing to be. Yeah, and it was kind of popular to be a Christian. Yes. And we saw a decline of Christianity. Right. There was no sacrifice, really. Yeah, the spirituality of Christianity just began to go down. You know, but that wasn't always the case because we had these beautiful movements come out, some of the monastic. The, yes, the monastic movements like St. Benedict, you know, how to rebuild that Christian community. That's great, and I think that we saw the faith kind of become part of culture as well. We saw these beautiful architecture and like oh. art and beautiful paintings. God and expresses himself in created beauty and also in the creativity of human beings. And when we thought we had everything figured out, society changed. Yes. Right, we saw this kind of reliance on just our rational thinking and we saw, you know, beautiful progress in science, but we, let, we relied too much on it. You know, and there was so much reliance on science that um, we started to separate science and faith. Well, uh, science and God. Yeah. We thought that we knew everything. That's right, and to add on top of that, there was another change. There was a change in technology where technology started to affect everything that we did. But you know, technology is not necessarily bad. There's a good way that we can utilize technology to continue yes. this message of salvation it's of incredible. Christ. Yes. You know, but in the end, I think it does come down to this personal relationship. Absolutely, because there's really no difference in Paul's letter to those different communities. That's the way it is today. We communicate just in a different kind of letter. It's a visual letter, but it still brings us to that relationship, yeah. to that community. You know, I have an idea. What is it? Why don't we continue that ongoing relationship and share the good news with other people? Let's go. Let's go. The church is inviting all of us to be evangelizers in some capacity, to share our faith, to be a witness of our faith in the world. It's as simple as an example. Someone recently said to me, I wish I had a Bible. I said, I'll get you a Bible. They said, no, you don't have to get me a Bible. I got them a Bible. They started reading it, and now their faith has come alive. In many ways, very simple ways, we can be a witness of our faith to others. And as we witness our faith to others, in the simplest of ways, the Lord works. I want you to have confidence that you don't have to have uh, a lot of training to be evangelizers. Simply love the Lord and let your love for the Lord shine. Let others see what it is that you believe. Share your faith and watch what happens when you allow the Lord to do the rest. It might be scary, it might be uncertain. Believe that the Lord wants to use you in people's lives in very simple and ordinary ways. And allow the Lord simply to do that in the places that you find yourself every day. Let the Lord guide you, lead you, believe that you have His grace at work in you, and allow the Lord to use you to bless others in their faith, uh, and the Lord is at work in you. This is the new evangelization.